ça va. Two birds, one stone. Okay. And what it does, it keeps the axle from slipping out of your fork teeth. And it provides that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. A lot when you're just hand tightening. I just got to get a bigger adjustable wrench, not vice grips. It will tear out and strip out the angles of the bolt and you'll end up with a pretty bad day. So I'm just gonna get a regular adjustable wrench or I'll look at my wrenches and see which one will work. Sorry, it's kind of hard to uh, ride and film at the same time. This is my Sorry about the shakiness. It's because when I press down the throttle, it really goes. And I'm just not used to it. I did this wrong. I'm supposed to be on the shoulder of the road. Incredible. I passively fucked up. Okay, let's see, we're, we're clear in the shoulder.
I wonder if we should just go flat out. I really got a pedal. I'm kind of just freewheeling. I see another cyclist up ahead. I forget the guy's name, but he has a YouTube channel where in New York they have bike highways and he has a electric BMX bike. Kind of the same color. It looks really similar with how it's just shiny chromium and it, it looks really fast. I think the zoos, the zoos city or whatever are like around a thousand watts and they probably have a lot of good pickup. So he does Uber Eats and Lyft Eats and uh, I have to say the way he does it, it's really cool. He goes like fast and stuff. Uh. I could definitely pick up and drop off food with this thing. It's just really stiff, but I kind of don't care at this point. Other BMX bikes will sometimes have solid forks like mine. But then again, this is a 45 pound bike with an extra 15 pounds of electronics installed onto. I guess I'll take a right here. This is the uh, old braking system. I'm not that good at photography. Guys, pull down. Oh my god, he's stopping. Hi. I saved my bacon bits from that. This is awkward. Oh. I would love to get off-ride shots for you guys. Um, the size overall is okay. I'm not that huge. I'm only five foot eight. So I'm not going flat out because I don't have a GPS. I would love to. I just need better brakes and it's kind of bumpy. I was actually considering getting air forks or spring forks 
like shock absorbers in the front but uh I kind of like the silver on the front it kind of retains the originality of this along with the brake cable valves not sure of the name I have this really funny triangu triangular bike bell and it deafens anyone in a thousand feet of distance of me. And uh, as I'm climbing on this hill, What? What? I can't hear you! Should I bomb the Howard Hill? I don't know. I don't know if I should bomb the Howard Hill. I'll go near it. It's steeper than a uh, ski slope. Yeah, that's not a continuation. That's the angle. So yeah, this is uh, Howard Street. It's about, I have to say a 20 foot drop. We're not going down there. Let's uh, turn around. This being a three phase motor, every phase is like a cylinder firing in a car's engine. So I believe that's why it kind of sounds like a car. The hub motor. I mean, it's probably louder since uh, the controller is 36 volts and the battery is 48. It's, it's kind of like a 48 volt system, but the controller is marketed and rated at 36 volts. So. This coasts really well. It's very heavy. This is all brakes. Look, my foot's up. This is all brake. Okay, let's chill out. Let's just coast. Let's see how this thing just coasts. Okay. I'm gonna have to 